Hi guys, I'm back again with a beautiful video for the beginners. Today I'm going to show you how to create logical interfaces onto Cisco and Juniper switches. So this logical interface is called SVI in the Cisco world, which stands for Switch Virtual Interface. And for the Juniper, it's called IRB that stands for integrated routing and bridging. So why we need this SVI and IRB? The reason behind using this mechanism is to extend layer two network to the layer three network. So in this topology, we have our network, layer two network is this, and our layer three network would be this. So first thing first, let's get started with the Cisco switch first, then I will move to the Junipers to do this configuration. Yeah, we already in the user mode. So let's go to the privilege mode and then configuration mode. Let's create VLAN. So I can see we have VLAN 20. We should create VLAN 20 for this uh, switch. Let's check whether we have any existing VLAN on this switch or not. To show VLAN. I can't see any VLAN except the you know default VLAN, which is, which is with already uh, with the uh, switch. So let's start creating VLAN 20. VLAN. VLAN 20 name admin. Now I'm going to assign this interface onto VLAN 20. Interface g0 slash 1 IP address. So it should be switch port mode access, switch port access. VLAN 20. So let's check. Do you show VLAN? Yeah, I can see I have already successfully created VLAN 20. The name of the VLAN 20 is admin, and the interface G0 slash 1 is already been assigned to the VLAN 20. Now I'm going to create SVI, which is known as Switch Virtual Interface. How to create it is very simple. So as you know, we have already created VLAN 20. Now, interface VLAN 20, IP address 172.16.1. Dot two five five dot zero no shut this is it so i have already created the logical interface let's check do you show ip interface brief so here you go i can see vlan 20 has been packed with ip address 172.16.1.1 so that means we have already created the logical interface which is known as SVI. Now, if you look at the switch in the upstream, we have another interface that that went to the router. So now I'm going to assign IP address to this G0 slash 0 as well. How to do that? Interface. So first thing first, as currently this switch port is uh, with the switch, and then I it's, it's belong to a layer two switch port. So what I have to do to assign this IP address, I have to change this switch port from layer two to layer three interface. So interface G0 slash zero, no switch port. That's it. So what I have to do now here is IP routing. So this interface has been converted from layer 2 ports to a layer 3 
interface. So interface G0 slash 0, IP address 11.0.0.1.255.255.255.255.252. No shit. First check. You show IP interface brief. And what we can see here, we can see villain 20 was already been assigned with the IP address 172.16.1.1 slash 24. Now we can see an interface, which is our upstream interface that joined to the layer 3 device. It's been assigned with 11.0.0.1 slash 30. And I believe you already know what's the difference between slash 24 and slash 30 and why I have took a big range of you know subnet for the for the LAN and why I took slash 30 for the WAN. So you could say this link is our, our WAN link and this is our LAN link. So the reason is I have chosen slash 24 here to get more IP address. I can technically add 254 valid host onto this switch. But here there is no, you know, host is being used. I just need two valid, you know, a host address uh, to assign this link. So slash 30 is technically giving us four IP address. Out of this four IP address, we have two valid IP address. And the first valid IP address of the zero subnet would be 11.0.0.1. And the second valid IP address is 11.0.0.2 slash 30. So uh, this is it basically. So what I have done here is first created a VLAN and then assigned G0 slash 1 onto that VLAN. And the VLAN name is admin VLAN ID is 20. And finally, I have created a logical interface, which is known as VLAN 20 and assigned 172 sorry, 172.16.1.1 slash 24 onto VLAN 20. So let's move to the Juniper switch now. So, and, and let's do the, let's save this configuration. You can, you can save it either writing um, copy running config, startup config or copy run start or WR, write mem, which one, you, whichever way you feel better, you can do that. So copy, run, start. That's it. So let's go to the Juniper switch. Yeah. Let's log into the device. Root is my password. And I have typed my password. Sorry, root is my login uh, user ID and my password I have already typed. So let's go to the CLI. Now it's in operation mode. Let's go to the config mode. Configure. That's it. Now, first thing first, let's start create the VLAN. So I have to create VLAN 10 and uh, I have to give a name to VLAN 10 as IT. How to create it? Set VLANs, let's say IT VLAN ID is 10. Now, Probably you have seen my earlier video, um, by default, the Juniper switch ports uh, belongs to for layer 2 and layer 3 um, interface. So first thing first, what I have to do here is I have to uh, specify that I'm going to use XE 0 slash 0 slash 1 for the switch port family Ethernet. How to do that is delete interfaces xe.0 slash 0 slash 0 
warning not found probably i have done it earlier uh now let's check with the one commit now i'm gonna start working with xc-0 slash 0 slash 1 set interfaces xc-0 slash 0 slash 1 slash 1 unit unit 0 family ethernet switching interface interface mode access vlan vlan members it so what i did here is um i have assigned i'm trying to assign xc there's zero slash zero slash one onto the VLAN 10, which is known as IT. Commit. Let's check the status. Show VLAN. So here you can see I have created VLAN 10 and but it doesn't show whether it's been tagged with interface xc-0 slash 0 slash 1. So to check it, run show VLAN. Yeah, I can see the VLAN 10 has been created with the name of IT and it was assigned to XC. 0 slash 0 slash 1. Okay, so now VLAN 10 has been created. This is the time to create the logical interface, which is known as IRB. As you know, um, the reason behind doing the IRB or creating the IRB is to extend my layer 2 network to go to the layer 3 network. So First thing first, what we have to do here is um, I have to add now the IP address to the VLANs, creating IRV which is equivalent to Cisco SVI as you know. Set interfaces XE dash zero slash zero slash one now i'm gonna use the word called irb interfaces <clears throat> so the command would be set interfaces IRB. What next? Set interfaces IRB. IRB. And what next? Unit. So what would be the unit? As as you have seen that we have created VLAN ten, and VLAN ten would be our unit at this moment. And then now, what we're trying to do here is we are trying to extend or we are trying to adding an IP address to the villains. So set interfaces IRB unit 10 family inet. Probably have uh, realized that earlier I have assigned G, sorry, xe-0 slash 0 slash 1 
onto villain 10 i'm on the time and it was a layer 2 uh tagging that's why uh on that time i used unit 0 family ethernet switching interface mode but now i'm assigning irb 10 i'm assigning the villain 10 onto irv so set interface irv unit 10 family inet address what would be the address our address would be 192 168.1.1/24. So 192.168.1.1/24. Commit. Okay. So what what is next? Now I'm going to tagging villain id to the layer 2 interfaces how to do that let me show you set villains it l3 interfaces irb.10 commit So let's check, run, show, interface, turns. What we can see here? You can see IRV10 has been assigned to the IP address 192.168.1.1.24. Also, you can write another command to check it. That is show interface show um, interface. What are the options available here? IRB. Let's see that. No, so show interface IRV. So run show interface. I are beaters. What we can see, we can see IRB.10 has been tagged with IP address 192.168.1.1 slash 24. So this is it. This was the uh, you know logical interface which I have already been created um, and already assigned uh, for this interface. Uh, and not only this interface, yeah, I have assigned the VLAN. To this interface and finally I have assigned this IP address to VLAN or IRB10. So uh, this is almost uh, I have completed the configuration onto the Cisco switch. So what I have done here is um, I have created VLAN10 and given a name to VLAN10 as an, uh, an admin and then uh, finally um, I have assigned the IP address 192.168.1.1 slash 24 to IRV unit 10. Now, I'm going to move on to the layer 3 device, which is our router. And then I'll be moved back to Cisco switch to run the, you know, routing protocol. Here I am planning to use OSPF. So let's get started with the router now. So this is our router. Let me minimize this. Okay. And as you know, configuring router is not a big deal. It's a very simple task. Enable host name. If you want, you can give a host name. But as long as I know it's a router, that's fine. So let's go to the interface first. G0 slash 0. So config 
T interface G0 slash 0 IP address 10.0.0.2 No shut Respect do show do show IP interface brief. So you can see gigabit gigabit zero slash zero has been assigned to ten dot zero dot zero two. Now I'm gonna assign eleven dot zero dot zero two to G zero slash one. G zero slash one and the IP address would be so let's see whether I can see the previous command. So here, the thing I'm changing from 10 to 11 because uh, this interface has already been assigned. So G0 slash 0 was assigned with 10.0.0.2. Now I'm assigning IP address 11.0.0.2 to G0 slash 1. Now shut. That's it. So do show IP. Do show IP interface. So you can see G0 slash 0 and G0 slash 1 was assigned to different IP address. So now I'm going to run the routing protocol. How to do that? It's very simple. Router OSPF. You can use um other routing protocol like RIP or let's say EIGRP, but EIGRP is a Cisco specific routing protocol. Probably it would be not uh, it will not uh, it will not be a good idea to use EIGRP. Yeah? That's why I'm planning to use um, OSPF. So router OSPF one. Now I'm gonna advertise this network and this network. Router OSPF one network. 10.0.0.0 wildcard mask 0.0.0.3 probably already know what is wildcard mask I'm not gonna dis discuss this here if you want write on my comment box I will explain you in future what is the difference between subnet mask and wildcard mask so network 10.0.0.0 and wildcard mask is 0 0.0.0.3 area I'm gonna use 0 here so I'm gonna do the same thing for the 11.0.0.2 so here I'm gonna change from 11 10 to 11 and that's it control Z if you want to see whether I, whether I have successfully advertised this network you can write this command show IP protocol yeah, so you can see here that routing protocol is OSPF1 and then the routing uh, for networks 10.0.0.0 and 11.0.0.0 That's it. I'm going to save the configuration. Copy, run, start. So I have almost done everything with the routers. Do show IP interface brief. Sorry, this time I cannot use do because I'm in privilege mode. So when I'm in the configuration mode, I must need to use do before any command or any information you want to see. So show IP interface brief. Now let's move back to the Cisco switch again. Yeah. So the reason I'm, I'm returned to the Cisco switch is to advertise my internal network and this network for the rest of the electric network. Yeah. 
enable config t um, router osp f1 network i have two networks now which is one is uh, for the uh, lan network and the network is specially will be advertised for the logical interface uh, network 172.16.1.0 and 0 0.0.0.25 area zero and then i have to advertise this network as well 11.0.0.1 so network 11.0.0.0 wildcard mask is 0 .0 .0 0 0.0.0.3 area zero here i believe you already know what's the difference between why i wrote here 0 .0 .0 0 0.0.0.255 and why I wrote 0 0.0.0.3 okay I can see some agencies here agencies so let's check the routing table show IP root show IP root what we can see here is we can see this device has already learned 10.0.0.0 which is in another network which is in this uh, through the OSPF so O means here OSPF I have learned this network so far but I haven't learned the network uh, in the Juniper site because I haven't advertised this network for the rest of the you know network so here I have already completed the configuration with the Cisco switch and Cisco router. Now I'm going to get back to the Juniper switch and complete the advertisement. So here, now, again, advertising the syntax of advertising um, the network so the OSPF is completely different the way we advertise in the you know, Cisco one. So, set protocols, set protocols OSPF. So we can see a number of protocols are listed. Here you can see BGP and then probably ISIS and then a lot more. You can see here RIP routing information protocol. We have Repenge. This is Repenge for especially for the you know, uh, IPv6. And then we have some way OSPF. This OSPF is for IPv4. Then we have OSPF uh, 3 as well, which is for you know, IPv6. So set protocols OSPF area. So what are the area here? I can see that um, I already wrote here earlier that the whole topology will be within area zero. I'm not gonna extend it to area two or any other or multiple areas. So area zero and then interface. IRB dot ten commit. This is it. So I have advertised this internal network. Now I have to advertise this one as well. So how to how to advertise the other one? Is it different? It will be something like that. Set Interfaces XC there's zero slash zero slash zero unit because as you know when I create this analogical interface it's been tagged with the unit 10 but by default 
when you know I will address any other interfaces that will be uh, by default in tagging with the uh, unit zero. Unit zero. Then inet. I'm looking for something inet. Unit zero family and then inet inet address. What is our address here? Is ten dot zero dot zero dot one. So ten dot zero dot zero dot one slash thirty. Comment. So let's check before I run. Commit. Run. Show. Type sign. Okay, it's not gonna show me these commands. So let's say, let the commit. Okay, so that's done. So, show configuration protocol OSPF. Run. Show configuration. Show configuration protocol OSPF. Let's see one show root. What my topology or what my Juniper switch has learned. It has learned where is the so here we can see some of the roots are missing. We are expecting some roots from this network 172.16.1.1 uh, or 1.0, so 172.16.1.0 slash 24 also we are expecting uh, this uh, uh, roots from 11.0.0.0 slash 30 as well but when i check the routing table of the juniper switch i cannot see any roots from these two networks so let's see whether i made any mistakes to writing any syntax let's this 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 was my last syntax i have added so let's double check set interfaces SE. So this interface is XE, not SE. XE, there's zero, slash zero, slash zero, unit zero, family unit address. I believe it should be fine now. Comment. Yeah, so the commit was completed. So let's check now show roots. Run show roots or root. any network from 172 now really so here we cannot see any network from 172 dot any routes from 172 dot 16.1.1 or 11.0.0.2 .0 .0 the reason was I had Advertise this one on the internal network to the OSPF, but probably I haven't done adver advertisement for this interface or this IP address or this this network. So let's let's do it again. So set protocols OSPF 
Here we are, zero again. And then interfaces. Interface should be XC, XC dash zero slash zero slash zero. Is it because of my keyboard? Some okay, so XC dash zero slash zero slash zero. Commit. Let's check now. Run show good. Yes. Progress. So as you can see, <clears throat> we can see some roots. This is the good news that we can see some roots from 172.16.1.0 network, which is this. And then also we can see some root from 11.0.0.0.0.30, which is this. Okay, so now let's <clears throat> control C, exit. Let's ping from here to this IP. Ping 10.0.0.0. .0 .0 Two, yeah. being is successful. So that means there's logical connectivity has been established between this uh, Juniper switch to my Cisco router and the interfaces G0. So let's ping here to the network. So it would be 11. Yeah, good job. Let's ping here. So it should be one. Yep, so connectivity is, is there. Let's check it. So ping one seven two dot sixteen dot one dot one. Yeah, I can see the connectivity is there. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to assign IP address to this PC, which is belongs to VLAN 20. The PC IP address, add, sorry, the PC IP address is 172.16.1.2. So let's assign the IP address to the PC. What was the PC number? PC number VPC5. IP. 172.16.1.2 my subnet mask is slash 24 and my default gateway is my logical interface ip so the logical ip interface ip it is 172.16.1.1 so now i'm going back to the um, Juniper switch again and I'm here again so this is my CL of Juniper switch now I'm gonna ping to this PC uh, which is belongs to VLAN 20 interface VLAN 20 so two yeah. so so far my connectivity is fine from the Juniper switch to all the way here. So let's go to this PC. Uh, before I go to this PC, let's assign this IP address um, 192.168.1.2 to this PC. So my final goal would be to establish the connectivity between this PC to that PC. So this PC belongs to um, you know, uh, VLAN 10 and this PC belongs to VLAN 20 uh, through this SVI uh, technology where we will be able to you know, establish the inter uh, VLAN connectivity through the, you know, uh, SVI and IRB. PC number four, I 
come see the PC. Okay, let's let's start. So IP one nine two slash twenty four and my default gateway is uh, interface IRV unit ten, which is one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot one. And now, so I am in in the PC. The PC name is BPC four, which is belongs to VLAN ten. Uh, now I'm gonna ping from this PC to this. So the IP address of this PC is one seven two dot sixteen dot one dot two. Ping one seven two dot sixteen dot one dot two. What is the result? Yeah, I can see we have done really very good job, and the uh, PC of a villain ten can see the PC of villain twenty. So now I'm gonna go to PC um, VPC five and villain twenty and ping the number out to this PC, which is belongs to the Juniper switch. So let's go to the PC five. I'm gonna ping to one one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot two. Ping one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot two. Yeah. So uh, I can see the ping is successful. That means uh, I managed to establish the logical connectivity between um, two VLANs um, through this um, SVA mechanism. So that means I I exposed on the layer two network to the layer three network through this SVI or IRV mechanism. Yeah, this is it. If you have any questions, please leave your comment on the comment box also like my video and if you want me to make any other video um, I will happy to do that and on top of that uh, this video I believe it will give you a kind of good information so as I've been checked in the YouTube I couldn't find any video that has been um, designed or configured uh, uh, like through the Cisco switch and you know Juniper switch so all the configurations and design I have seen in the YouTube mostly was um, let's say Juniper to Juniper configuration or you know Cisco to Cisco so but here you get Juniper and Cisco side by side I'm just yeah stop recording here if you want any more video on any other topics please let me know thank you very much for viewing my video.